why should you do a triathlon? In today's episode, we talk about the reasons to get involved in triathlon. As someone who's tried different sports over my life, this is a sport that isn't like any other and really is for people of all ages. You don't have to run as fast as Allison Felix, bike like Mark Cavendish, or swim like Michael Phelps or Katie Ledecky to be able to complete a triathlon. Welcome to the Working Mother Triathlete Podcast. I'm here to help you achieve a healthy, well-balanced life so you can feel prepared and ready to achieve your triathlon goals. Remember to follow us on Instagram and YouTube at Working Mother Triathlete. Here are my 10 reasons why you should complete a triathlon. My first reason is it's a beginner-friendly sport. Starting any new sport at any age can be intimidating. A triathlon is three different sports all at once. However, triathlon has become very beginner friendly. There are a large number of triathlon clubs across the country that welcome new members with open arms. This allows you to learn the ins and outs of of a triathlon in a fun and encouraging environment surrounded by friends. They can help teach you the jargon, help you determine what your goal is and what you're trying to accomplish. There are also varying distances, so people can complete the distance that they feel comfortable completing You're not forced to go out and bike 112 miles if you can only complete a 26-mile bike ride. Reason number two, triathlon welcomes all ages. Triathlon is comprised of three of the most common activities in the world that many of us learn as kids. So why not get your kids involved at an early age? There are kid-specific races for kids as young as six, and most local sprint and Olympic races will allow racers as young as 13. It's also family-friendly. You can do events where you are at a team environment. So maybe you are more comfortable doing the swim. You have one of you, you know, someone else in the family, like maybe your child complete the bike portion. And then one of you or someone else even completes the run. There aren't a lot of sports where you can compete successfully at any age. Triathlon is an exception. It's one of the few sports where you are only competing against people in your age group, unless you're a professional. Also, given the cross-training nature of triathlon, where you're training in three different sports throughout the season, you don't put as much wear and tear on your body. So you can be 70 years old, 80 years old, and still standing on the podium at the end of the race. Some people are even completing full-distance triathlons well into their 90s. I didn't start completing triathlons until I was 36 years old, and at that point, I was pleasantly surprised when I went out to see that I wasn't competing against the 25-year-olds who were, you know, possibly in their prime from a physical fitness standpoint. I was competing against other people my age, other moms who had the same training restrictions that I had and were also having to run around after their kiddos. So it was a pleasant surprise for me to see that even coming into a sport later in life, when I've already, you know, well past my prime, there's no way I'll be able to run a six minute mile anytime soon, that I was out, be able to go out and still be competitive. You know, by the end of my first full season doing triathlons, I found myself on the podium winning or placing well in my age group across the board. Reason number three to complete a triathlon is that they are challenging and respected. Triathlon is a tough sport regardless of which distance you're completing. When you tell people that you've done a triathlon or that you're a triathlete, most people will be thoroughly impressed. It's nice when the people around you appreciate the challenge that you've accomplished when you tell them you did a triathlon. Everyone finds some aspect of triathlon hard, whether it's the runner who struggles to swim, the Uber biker who struggles to run, or the swimmer who struggles on the bike. At the same time, there are always new challenges to look forward to in triathlon. You can work to conquer a new distance, work to improve any or all of the individual portions of a race, or work to set a new personal record. It is only you who can hold yourself back from coming up with a new challenge or goal to meet. Each challenge in triathlon comes with a ton of rewards, both physical and mental. There is a huge sense of accomplishment that comes with overcoming the challenges you have set for yourself. Whether that is completing a triathlon for the first time of any distance or qualifying for a national or world championship, 
Reason number four to complete a triathlon is that they are never boring. When I was a kid, I got bored at swim practice. Not because I didn't like swimming, but because at the time, it was the only sport I was focusing on. I'd feel like I had it down, I'd had enough practice, and I didn't need to keep going, which made practices very long and very boring for me. As soon as soccer season started up, it would overlap with the end of the swim season, and I would swim in the morning, most days go straight to the park for a training run, and then have my actual soccer practice later that evening. I loved it when that time of year came along, because each activity was a break from the other. And knowing that I had something else, something different going on later in the day or even the next morning allowed me to be able to focus, knowing that I had something to look forward to in the future. The same is true with triathlons. You have such a wide variety of training options from the basic, you know, swim, bike, and run individually to going out and doing a brick session where you're stacking two of those sports together back to back, whether it's going for a bike and then for a run whether it's hopping in the pool and then getting out and going for a bike ride. There's strength training. That includes resistance training as well as if you go to the gym and are lifting weights. There are group rides if you really like cycling, both virtual and in real life. There are running clubs you can join. The list goes on and on. It gives you more to look forward to throughout the week and different kinds of skills to focus on improving throughout the different practices. Reason number five to complete a triathlon is each sport helps strengthen the others. So most of us have one sport that we either like better or are are better at just from our history and what we've been able to accomplish thus far. With three sports to train in, you have a balance of training stimuli. Training in one sport will help you improve in the other two sports. For me personally, swimming is the strongest of my sports. I started swimming on a swim team at the age of eight and spent 10 years doing laps on a regular basis. I'm also a fairly strong runner, having spent you know even more years playing soccer, which involves quite a bit of running, although not the same as going out and running a marathon or, or half marathon. So biking is by far my, my weakest sport. That said, because I have good run legs, because I have the endurance when I'm swimming, my bike is not nearly as bad as if I wasn't, you know, hadn't uh, been practiced at at least one of the other sports. I want to take a minute to walk through each of the individual sports and share what benefits they offer to the other two. So swimming is a low impact sport for your body. You're not taking a pounding when you're out there swimming. But it is a surprisingly demanding sport that helps improve your cardiovascular and aerobic fitness in addition to your endurance. Biking, which is by far the most social of sports, uh, as you can fairly easily carry on a conversation if you go out for a group ride, helps to really strengthen up your legs and different muscles than if you were running, and you don't get the pounding on them. It also allows you to learn to control your cadence, which is helpful when you're doing tempo runs and when you're breathing uh, in the water. Finally, running builds power in your glutes and your legs, which helps when you need bursts of speed, either on the bike or during the swim. Plus, running is a great way to blow off some steam after a long day at work or chasing after your kiddos or the puppies. Reason number six to complete a triathlon is that it helps improve your sleep and your metabolism. So there are a lot of different physical benefits you can get from any sort of regular exercise routine. As triathlon offers built-in cross-training, it also helps with your sleep and metabolism. Sleep and endurance really go hand in hand. Any cardiovascular exercise is going to help produce natural melatonin in your body. When you're doing an endurance sport or endurance activity, you're going to produce a little bit more melatonin. And this is because sleep is vital to the recovery process for your body. It's when your body takes the time to repair damage done, including just soreness, uh, especially soreness that you may carry in your legs from some of this endurance training. I know personally for me, I was not always the best sleeper. I would, I'm a very light sleeper and I wouldn't necessarily sleep through the night, which didn't always lead to having a restful night. Once I started training for triathlons, my sleep has definitely improved. I now 
rarely am waking up through the middle of the night and while still a light sleeper where I hear the kids or dogs if they need something, I'm not waking up randomly in the middle of the night anymore. Endurance training can also improve your metabolism. Being an endurance athlete takes a lot of fuel. You're asking quite a bit of your body. So you're going to feel hungry more often. Over time, endurance athletes' bodies adapt to process food faster and more efficiently. Think about when you're out running a marathon, for example, and about an hour in, you're tired. Your legs are tired. It's hard to push through. Many times that's, that's where there's the tables. You grab a, a gel or a bar or whatever it is that they have to offer you at that race to refuel. Your body needs to be able to process that quickly to get the food turned into energy so you can complete the race. This leads to an increased metabolism. I always recommend having a healthy snack either with you to consume post-workout or especially post-race, especially when you're doing a harder training session, or ready to go at home. I know when I'm on the go and I do a hard workout, if I don't have something pre-packed, I'm much more likely to reach for the unhealthy option because I'm looking for something that's quick and easy. Reason number seven to complete a triathlon is it will improve your mental strength. 90% of any endurance sport is about mental toughness, not necessarily your physical ability. To be able to complete endurance events such as a triathlon takes a lot of hard work and in some cases pushing yourself to limits to reach the goal you set for yourself. At some point, you'll likely feel some physical pain or you'll try to reason out why it's okay to hop off the treadmill after 45 minutes instead of running the hour your training plan called for. It takes mental fortitude to be able to train and race in any endurance event. You need to train your mind just as much as you need to train your body. When I've bailed early on a workout or skipped it all together, it's usually mental and not physical. Generally, I'm able to physically complete the items or the tasks that are on my training plan. So using an hour run, I can go run for an hour. But after 45 minutes, my mind's not convinced that I can keep going. My mind thinks that my body needs to stop, even though I should know that I am capable of going for that full hour. Mental strength is a skill that's needed in all areas of our lives, especially in parenthood. So training and racing and endurance sports will help you improve that skill, which you can use in pretty much all other areas of your life. Reason number eight to complete a triathlon is there are so, so, so many options for racing. In so many sports, when you're an adult and you want to get into it, you're going to be looking to join a rec league where maybe you travel to a couple towns near you for flag football or a local softball league. But you don't have a ton of options out there. For triathlon, there's options in, in every aspect of the sport, really. There's the distance. There's everything from a sprint triathlon, which is about a total of 17 miles-ish, to long course triathlons, which are a total of 140 miles, to ultra triathlons that are even longer. So, you know, think about doubling every distance in each of the three sports. So you have lots of options to pick from when you're just, just thinking about what distance do I want to go. Then you get to think about, well, what do I want that, that course to look like? Do I want to swim the ocean? Do I want to swim in a lake? Do I want to swim in a river? Do I want to bike on hills? Do I want it to be flat? Same thing for the run. Do you want a flat run, easy run? Do you want something a little more challenging that has hills? Or, and even more the extreme, there are extreme triathlons where you're doing a swim, but then you're mountain biking and doing a trail run at the end. So all these are different options, and at this point, you've just gone over distance and the terrain. There's also location, which factors into the terrain portion of it. But if you are someone who likes to travel, there are races all over the world, and this is a great sport for you. You can do Ironman South Africa and go down and race in South Africa and visit them. You can go to Germany over in Europe and complete Challenge Roth, which is one of the most anticipated and well-attended triathlons out there. You can do Norsemen up in uh, northern Europe, 
where while a regular triathlon, you are swimming in not freezing, but pretty cold waters, you're doing a mountain, uh, a, a bike ride that while not a mountain bike ride has significant hills and mountains you need to climb. And then for the first so many athletes you're talking about when they're doing the run, you're able, not you do the road part of the run and then you are running slash climbing up a mountain to the finish line. Now only a certain number get to go up there. To racing in Hawaii in what would most people would consider fairly ideal conditions where the water is something like 80 degrees and uh, that you have the bike in the run that, well, not, you know, hilly, not nearly the same as, as some of these other races. So you have a wide variety available to you of options. There's also a championship for every distance for every group of athletes, including age group athletes. So in the United States, USA Triathlon will rank everyone who completes at least, two, I think it's three races in each distance. So if you complete three sprint triathlons, they will take your scores, assuming it's an accredited event, and they will rank you nationally against everyone else who completed sprint triathlons. And they're not looking at your total time because they recognize every course is different. But then they will take a cut and say the top 10% get to go to nationals. And you get to compete against other women in or men in your age group for a national title. And then there's worlds. And this happens at the sprint distance, the Olympic distance, the 70.3 or half iron distance, and the full or Ironman distance races. So if you're looking for something where you can compete, where you can move forward, where you don't have to be a professional triathlete to have some big events to look forward to, this is the sport for you. And finally, as we go through different options for racing, maybe you're not up to snuff on the swim. Maybe you're just not comfortable with the swim. Do a duathlon. Those are typically set up where you do a run at the beginning instead of the swim, and then a bike, and then a run. Or maybe you're someone who's prone to injury, or maybe you've had a knee replacement if you're older or something like that, and you really can't, you know, your legs can't, your body can't handle the pounding of the run. Do an aqua bike, where you do the swim and then the bike. So they, they've set up these endurance events to have a lot of options so that you can enjoy the still enjoy the sport without doing something that you were uncomfortable with or physically unable to do. Additionally, for those of us who, you know, like doing just running or like doing just cycling, you know, you kind of can extend the triathlon season, especially if you live up north like I do, where we do get cold weather every now and then. Well, for about half the year. We can, the tri season is fairly short. It's about three and a half months long. It's not a very long season, but before it starts and after it ends, you can do marathons, half marathons, trail races, cycling races, or even just cycling for fun. There's some, some events you do for fun that you don't actually have to compete in. So there's a number of different options open to you when you train in all three sports. Reason number nine to complete a triathlon, you get to race alongside professionals. Okay, so when I say this, I think a lot of people envision themselves standing alongside a pro, getting left in the dust as they kind of strike out on any of the three disciplines. That's not how these races are structured. What I mean is that the top professional triathletes compete on the exact same course as the age group athletes. If you want to play in an adult soccer or softball league, you're going to be playing on rec fields most likely, which maintenance, you know, they're, they're not always maintained very well. You're not playing in Fenway Park. You're not playing in Lambeau Stadium. In triathlon, everyone competes on the same course. The pros usually get a head start going first. So as much slower athletes relative to them are not getting in their way. But usually you can see them as you race. It's inspiring to watch them and at a time when maybe you're feeling tired, wondering why you signed up to do this race in the first place, watching them even for a brief second can be hugely motivating. Reason number 10 to complete a triathlon is to improve your fitness level. Okay, I saved the most obvious one for last. For anyone who's looking to get into better shape, you're gonna have to put in the time and energy to do so. It's not something you can get from just buying a program 
or changing your diet. Something you need to put sweat equity into. Sticking to a triathlon plan that's been tailored to your goals, whether your goals are weight loss, improve time, to improve your overall completion time, or just checking something off your bucket list, will go a long way to helping you improve your stamina, the distance you can complete, and your overall time. Who doesn't want to go longer in a shorter time or become a little stronger to be able to take on other challenges? And being that triathlon has built-in cross-training, your entire body will get stronger, not just your legs or just your arms or just your abs like in some other programs. And I have one bonus reason for you. Another reason to complete triathlon would be if you are a techie or if you're someone who likes data, this sport is full of it and full of cool gadgets to capture all sorts of things. Everything from your your sports watch, which, you know, runners and cyclists use, you have Garmin's or Wahoo trackers you can use on your bike to track where you're going. It can pull maps for you along the way, which can track your watts, your cadence, you know, how far you've gone, your speeds, and all that fun stuff, to goggles that can track how many strokes per lap you're taking and your swim cadence and your speed to little pods you can put on your shoes when you're running that track your, your run speed and watts and help you, know, help you improve your running overall. Triathlon is a fantastic sport to get involved in for even more reasons than what I've listed here. But make sure you commit to being realistic. Triathlons require consistency and discipline when you're training for them. As Iron Man's motto states, anything is possible, so why not give triathlon a try? Each week, I'm going to highlight a weekly workout that you can do. So this week, we're highlighting a technique swim, which means you're going to be focusing on the mechanics of your swim stroke. The workout I'm going to walk through is great for someone training for a sprint triathlon or for longer course athletes, someone who maybe is on a rest week. The workout calls for a total of 1,100 yards or meters, depending on which pool you're in, and has five parts. For the warm-up, start off with an easy 150. Easy means easy. Don't worry about timing yourself here or, or straining yourself at all. If you want to put on some fins, that's perfectly okay as well. Next are some swim drills. So do four 50s of your favorite swim drill doing you know the first 25 of one drill the second 25 back another drill i'll put a link to some different swim drills in the show notes the next part is going to be four 100s pull so no kicking i suggest you use a pull boy or a band something to help you keep your legs uh, from kicking and to help you float so you don't uh, end up with stinky legs the second part is a set of 550s where you're going to increase your speed starting around a 5 in the first 50 and every 50 should get progressively harder. The final set is 425s or 250s if you prefer where you're going to be going as fast as you can. While you're doing these final two sets, don't let your form or technique go to the wayside while you're trying to go fast. You should be maintaining good form throughout all aspects of the swim so you don't practice bad habits. That's all for today. Thanks so much for listening. Stay positive and keep training like a mother. See you here next week.